Hey, welcome back to SourceFed. My name is Mike. And I'm Bui. Bui, I got a $68 parking ticket last night. For what? Parking where I wasn't supposed to. Oh. That's f***ing crazy, right? I remember when you used to get tickets for cool things like concerts and raffles, but parking? Bri, you smell that? Is that horse shit? Yeah, it's horse shit, Bri, and my wallet's covered in it. Would it make you feel better if I told you I had a story about a water skiing baby? I mean, I don't know, yes. In news I have completely conflicting feelings about, a six-month-old baby named Zyla recently water skied 686 feet across a lake in Florida, making her the youngest water skier in history. Let's cut to a clip. Now on one hand, she's doing something most adults can't even do, and on the other hand, she's a baby! You can't even walk yet! On the one hand, she's so cute. On the other hand, her name is Zyla. Now on the one hand, her parents are pro skiers, and on the other hand, she's a baby! You can't even swim yet. Out of every name in the world, Zyla? That's the one they went with? And again, I'm a Brianna, and I did a great job at not becoming a porn star. I did think a lot about it, though. I don't know how to feel about this story. It seems so irresponsible. I mean, the baby's so good at what she's doing. But wait a minute, did you throw porn into this story about a baby water skiing? You get out. You gotta get out of it. You could stay. I need you for the rest. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Good decision. Everybody's favorite place to go into debt, Whole Foods has been deemed by the Food and Drug Administration as unsanitary, at least in one of their prep plants in Michigan. According to the FDA.gov, which is a website, many of the violations involved food being prepared under ceilings that were dripping with condensation. Uh, many. As in more than one. There were also multiple violations involving food being handled without hand washing or glove changing. Multiple, as in more than one. All of that is gross. Other violations included water from the hand washing station and splashing into other packaged foods because the stations had no splash guards. This is many splashes and more than one. Speaking of splish splash, FDA.gov reports on February 16, 2016, your employee in the pre-pack room was spraying quaternary ammonium-based sanitizer to clean water work surfaces, while another employee in close proximity was packaging exposed ready-to-eat mescaline salad. That's how you say that word. This resulted in the sanitizer being sprayed onto an open container of salad leafy greens. Sorry to stop you here, Brie. I believe it's quaternary. Quaternary? Quater I believe it's pronounced quaternary. I went to college. Quaternary. Quaternary. I thought my frequent diarrhea was due to too much fiber. Now I know the truth. Now I get to say I told you so. We should all be shopping at Trader Joe's. That leads us to our new segment, we f***ing told you so. Welcome to our brand new segment, we f***ing told you so, where we recount recent instances of us totally calling it. For a long time now, people strayed away from saying I told you so because it sounds braggadocious, but we're bringing bragging back. Call me Frodo Braggins. Okay, Frodo. Thought it was Bui. <laughs> it was too many names. Remember the Met Ball in May? That big event at the Metropolitan Museum of Art where celebs get to dress all wackadoo for attention? Yes! I tried to sneak in wearing a trash can on my head. I called it garbage cap. So close, Brie. You gotta wear the trash can on your arm, like uh, Zayn Malik, who came dressed as 25% of a robot. Now get this. Earlier this week, you revealed that the inspiration for that outfit came from the Mortal Kombat character Jax, who used his bionic metal arms to steal quarters from me in the arcade as a child, and I f***ing called that, all right? I told you so. I think I even tweeted it. Boom! He probably tweeted it. Thank you. I at least thought it. That totally counts. It counts. It counts. You ever get pulled over for going 27 and a 25? Then you tell your best friend about it, and she's like, man, the cops are just trying to make their ticketing quota. You're Well, that friend is me, and the quota is real, and I f***ing told you so. Recently, the Arlington Police Unit put 15 officers on leave for inflating traffic stop data. Cut to a f***ing clip. Internal emails from the Arlington Municipal Patrolmen's Association revealed that the department was using informal quota-based performance systems to withhold privileges from underperforming officers. Okay, which is illegal according to the Texas whatever code of transportation, but also I f***ing told you so. My dude, if people aren't speeding that much, it means you're doing a good job. Take a break from making things up and pat yourself on the back for actual things you're doing like... Tricking meth users on Facebook into coming into the the police station for Ebola testing? Yes, that! And finally, the sushi donut is a real thing. And boom, f***ing told you so. Boom, wait, what? 
Yeah, after National Donut Day, which is a day that's made up by Twitter as soon as we forgot about the last time they had it, a food blogger by the name of Sam Murphy started shoving cooled rice into donut molds and decorating it with sesame seeds, ginger, wasabi, chipotle mayo, and avocado, and boom! Sushi donut is real, and I called it, and I fucking told you so about it. I told you that was a good idea. Mike, when you said that you were stuffing raw tuna into a Krispy Kreme in the break room while yelling, you'll never understand, over and over again, this is totally different. But it's kind of the same. No, this sounds magical and delicious. You are doing a disgusting thing and yelling. You'll never understand, I fucking told you so. Bree, God, Bree. So tell us, when was the last time you got to say I told you so? Have you ever fallen victim to totally real ticketing quota? And how many times are you planning on watching this water skiing baby video? Let us know down in the comments below. I'm Brianna. I feel very upset. How did you get over the- I walk around, I walked around the whole room. Oh. Good penis, 10XY, how are you? Oh, I- We got Elliot Morgan, big round of applause for Elliot, just saying. Thanks.